Hi guys, welcome to What's What Jamaica News TV. If this is your first time here, please make sure that you subscribe. If it's not your first time here and you have not yet subscribed, please do so right now. And now for the news. Since the beginning of the year, Western Jamaica has had the highest number of traffic deaths. According to the Road Safety Unit most recent update, that is, since January, there have been 463 fatalities in traffic accidents. Additionally, there have been 402 fatal collisions. According to the RSU, 33% of the 463 fatalities happened in the Area 1 Police Division. In the Area 1 Police Division, 152 persons died in traffic accidents. Trelawney, St. James, Hanover and Westmoreland are all part of Area 1. With 48 recorded deaths, St. James led the list of parishes with the highest traffic fatalities among the 14. Westmoreland came in second place with 47. Since the beginning of the year, there have been 90 road fatalities in Area 5, St. Andrew North, St. Catherine North, St. Catherine South, and St. Thomas, with a combined total of 87 fatalities. Clarendon, Manchester, and St. Elizabeth completed the division. The Road Safety Unit reports that 30 drivers under the age of 19 were killed in crashes. They claim that driving too fast without respect to the circumstances continues to be the key factor in over 140 fatalities. Motorcyclists, pedestrians and private motor vehicle drivers were the groups with the greatest number of fatalities according to a detailed analysis. The majority of those killed, 58% of all fatalities, were reportedly hapless drivers. So it's like, you know, the fatalities is ridiculous and most of them are in the Western Jamaica. And this, this is where you have like all the tourists driving the buses. And it's, it's just, it, they just have to do something. The drivers have to be more conscious of what they're doing. They have to be careful. Respect the road. Respect the rules of the road. The fact that you're out there and you're in a car and the car is moving good. It doesn't mean that you have to break the speed limit. There's no reason. Why people must be driving so fast. And a lot of these accidents are really senseless. Anyway guys, thank you for watching my YouTube video. Kindly remember to do the right thing and subscribe to the channel. Like the video, share the video and hit that notification bell. So you will be notified of all new videos.